mature tooth, mallory staining. The specimen is a longitudinal section through a mature tooth stained with the tricolour Mallory's method. Each tooth consists of a tooth crown, neck and root, which is covered on the outside with periodontal fragments. A pulp chamber is found in the centre part of the tooth. It resembles mature gelatinous tissue with stellate cells and loosely arranged collagen fibres with large amounts of ground substance in between. The Mallory's method, apart from the visualisation of blue stained collagen fibres, also allows for the identification of multiple blood vessels present in the pulp. Research conducted at the Department of Histology and Embryology has shown that orthodontic treatment may alter pulpal blood flow. These changes are reversible. The outer part of the tooth pulp is lined by odontoblasts, which are responsible for dentine formation. Columnar cells with distinct cell nuclei are arranged in palisades in the crown pulp. Cuboidal cells are found in the root. These cells, like osteoblasts, secrete components of the intercellular substance. From the outside, the pulp is surrounded by dentin, which belongs to hard dental tissues. It undergoes mineralization, and its chemical structure and physical properties are similar to those of bone. The cross-section shows clearly marked dentinal tubules extending to dentinal junction with enamel and cement. The dentinal tubules are arranged perpendicularly to the tooth surface. They contain odontoblastic projections into the dentinal tubules the so-called tomes fibres, coreless nerve fibres and tissue fluid that nourishes the dentin. Predentin, which has not yet undergo the mineralization process, is the innermost layer of dentin. From the outside, the root part of dentin is covered with a thin layer of cementum. Cementum, like dentin and enamel, belongs to hard dental tissues and is comprised of 45% to 50% inorganic and 50 to 55% organic compounds. The outer crown part of the tooth should be covered with enamel. However, this layer has been completely washed out due to both the nature of enamel, which contains about 97% of inorganic substances, and the specimen preparation method, which involves decalcification to obtain only organic elements. Connective tissue, referred to as the periodontium, which is found in the root, is the outermost part of the tooth visible in the specimen. The periodontium is made up of both dense connective tissue proper, abundant in blue stained collagen fibres, and loose connective tissue, rich in cells, blood vessels and nerves. Since the collagen fibres stain blue in Mallory's method, both the periodontium and the pulp are blue, indicating a high proportion of these fibres, especially in the periodontium. On the other hand, dentin, due to the washing out of inorganic elements and the residue of organic elements leading to altered pH, stains from orange through red to blue.